Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can properly present PowerPoint slides in uh, Microsoft Teams. So as you can see, I have uh, this meeting uh, going on. So this is my view on the right hand side. And this is the guest view on the left hand side, which I have opened on this browser. Now, let's say I want to present uh, a PowerPoint slide. Now, in my case, I have this uh, PowerPoint slide on my uh, browser in my uh, Office app. You might have this PowerPoint slide in your uh, PowerPoint app on your Windows operating system or you might have, let's say, a PDF file to present and not uh, just the PowerPoint slide. So the common uh, practice is uh, that you might also know that uh, when you click on this share content button, you will be able to see all the windows which are uh, available and you choose one of the windows on which your presentation is there. So I have my presentation on this window. So I will just click on this and it's going to show uh, this presentation in my guest view, which is uh, on this uh, browser, right? So everything is good, but as you can see, it's not really uh, presenting my uh, slide. It's also uh, showing all the slides in my uh, in advance, and it's also showing uh, all the browser content, which I don't want to show. I just want to show the slide in the presenter view. Now, uh, the other thing uh, which I can do is I can just uh, click on the presenter view. So I can just uh, click on this option which says uh, from the beginning I want to present this which is going to take the whole screen and I will not be able to uh, control uh, the other things from my desktop. So this is also not uh, a good solution for me. So what I can do so I will just click on exit now. So the proper way of presenting PowerPoint slides on the Microsoft Team app is just click on the share content uh, button and then click on the browse option. Don't choose any screen. Just click on the browse option and then click on upload from computer and then choose your PPT which you want to share. So I want to share this uh, lecture uh, on uh, Java uh, programming, I will just click on open, which is going to upload this whole PPT on the Teams app. And you can see the process of uploading here. And once it's uploaded, it's going to start directly the presentation. So you can see the presentation has been started. This is my view. This is uh, the guest view or my Teams member view, right? So you can see now there is no uh, irritating uh, sidebars or ribbons or anything. I just can uh, present my uh, PowerPoint slides uh, to the other team members without any extra ribbons or any other uh, things, right? And you can see uh, the number of slides. So right now I'm presenting slide number two of uh, all the 50 uh, slides, right? I can move forward or move backward by using these buttons and it's going to be presented to the guest view. Also, let's say uh, I will see these slides in the guest view, right? So other team members are seeing the slide in this format. Now uh, they have the possibility to move forward to the slide. For example, they want to uh, see the next slide. They can just click on uh, this uh, arrow button and then they can see the next slide. Even though I'm presenting the slide number six, they will be able to uh, see the slide number nine, 10, whatever, right? So they can see in advance which slides are there. And let's say I don't want to uh, allow the uh, other team members to see the next slides. So I can prevent this behavior from this button. So when I click on this button, which says prevent participants from moving through shared presentation on their own, I can just click on this button. And now when I go to uh, the guest view, I can see this message which says sharer disabled private viewing. You can't move through the shared presentation on your own, right? So you can decide if you want to allow 
the users or team members to move through the slides by themselves or you can just disable this uh, feature also let's say uh, you work in a team and you have uh, created half of the slides and your team members have created half of the slides so you can present half of the slides and when i go to the uh, uh, guest view you can see the guest or the team member can take the control of the powerpoint presentation so i can just click on uh, take control and then the guest can present uh, these slides so you can see the guest can uh, move forward and backward and now me or the person who have originally shared the presentation can see these uh, slides as a viewer right and you also see this message which says another user took controls so once uh, other person or team members have finished their part you can once again take the control of uh, the presentation by clicking on this button right so this is the best and convenient way of presenting powerpoint slides on your microsoft teams app i hope you have enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video